Hello folks, this is going to be a simple lecture on how you can use your startup scripts in GCP. So a, a, a basically a startup script is just a script that gets installed or which runs when, once your instance is up. So what we are going to do today is we are just going to run this basic startup script. What it will do is just install Apache and create a normal HTML page, a hello world HTML page. Uh, there are three ways you can actually run your startup scripts in GCP. The easiest way is to just hard code it while you're creating the instance in the startup script. Uh, there is a text box which appears once you're create whilst you're creating your instance. So you can just copy this, copy paste this over there. The other way of doing it is using the metadata. So if you're using the instance meta, so there are two metadata that you could use. The first is the instance and the project metadata. So the difference between both of this is that if you are updating your startup scripts in the instance metadata, then that startup script is specific just to that instance. Whereas if you have updating it in your project metadata, then that metadata startup script would be installed in all the all the instances that are there within that particular project. So let's start with creating the basic startup script using the first method. So I just copy this. I will create an instance. And the only thing I need to do is I leave everything as default. So I will just go to the startup script and I'll just paste it here. Now, because I'm starting up creating a web server, I, may, I need to make sure that the firewalls are up for the HTTP and the HTTPS. So I will just enable the allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic. And that's it, I'll just save this. So once the instance has been created, let me just click on the external IP to check whether Apache has been installed. I think I just need to make this with HTTP. So you can see that this particular instance has Apache installed with this generic default page. The second way would be to use the instance metadata. So to do that, we need to use this particular script to create the instance. So I'll just copy this. I need to go to my cloud shell. Let me run this. So the name of the script is create.sh. So this just creates an instance. And the only difference here is that I will be running the metadata from a, from a file called create.sh. This create.sh just contains this particular script. Yes. So as you can see that it has been created, let me just close this and refresh this page. So as you can see that the instance has been created, uh, the firewall has been disabled for HTTP and HTTPS, so I just need to update that. I click on this and I'll just edit. I'll just enable the HTTP and the HTTPS. Save.
So let me try to access this URL. Okay, so this worked as well. If you we go back to that instance and if we see all the parameters, we can see that the custom metadata has this particular key and this particular value which it got from that file. Now, if we were to directly hard code this particular metadata with this value, let's see what happens. So we'll create another instance and in the UI itself, we will just copy paste this key and this particular value. So I'll create another instance. Now, if I copy that particular key, what it mentions here is that if you want to add a startup script using your console, then it advises you to use this particular option. So that's the reason why that's the reason why using the UI you cannot have this startup script as the key to upload this particular script. So you need to use the gcloud command to do that using your console. Uh, there is another better way of doing it is you need to create a bucket in your cloud storage run that uh, copy the same script there and you can actually give access using this particular key to that particular bucket and if you do that then your startup script would be executed using the cloud buckets to the, uh, the bucket startup script so let's try that as well. I'll create a new instance. I'll copy this particular key. So, in, so let's try to use the same instance that we were trying to create. I just copy paste this URL. And what I need to give here is basically a path to a bucket that will contain the script. So I've already created a, a bucket with that particular file. So I'll just go to my storage, open this in a new link. So the name of my bucket is this. And this is the name of my script. So it's basically the same script. I just need the path to this particular script. So I can just I can either use the authenticated URI, URL or this URL. I will use this. I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here. And I'll just click on create. seems to have been created. Another way to check whether your startup script has run properly is you can go to monitoring. I'm sorry, you can go to details. You can go to cloud, cloud logging or better still you can go to yours. And you can check whether there are any errors here. So I can see that all my packages have been uploaded properly. So this looks fine. So all that I need to do is just enable my firewall once more. So I'll click on edit. Allow my HTTP and HTTPS traffic and I'll just save this.
So let me try to open this URL. Okay, so this worked. So this was using your cloud storage. So let's go back to that main sheet. Let's try to do the same thing again using the project metadata. So here, let's try to hard code that particular startup script key with the file directly. So I'll just copy this. I'll go to my metadata, click on edit. And I click on save. So now what we'll try to do is we'll create another instance without anything in the metadata session and let's see if it actually is able to get the startup script from the project metadata. So I'll just create an instance directly. I'll not change anything. I'll just click on create and allow the firewalls. Let me try to and there you have it this works as well so these were the other these were the multiple ways by which you can create your startup script uh, I would like you guys to do the last part yourself. So it's basically the same. The only difference here is instead of using the startup script, you just need to use the startup script URL as the key. And in your bucket that you create, you just need to copy paste this particular script. So this is fairly straightforward. So there's no not much complexity involved here. So those are the multiple ways in which you could create your startup scripts in GCP. If you have any doubts, you can just post a comment below and. I'll try to help you as best as I can. Thank you.